Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing what do I need to be doing right now, okay? So it's also going to be a little bit of a future prediction in there as well. There's also going to be blessings as well and future predictions. So please choose your group now. We have group number one, two and three and we also have um, some sound healing that I'm going to do at the start so if you'd like to stick around for that that's totally fine I'm going to jump right into the sound healing but if you want to carry on into the groups then please go ahead and do that now so let's get started into the sound healing I am nowhere near a professional and I am using a external microphone so hopefully it's going to pick up the sound okay and it's not going to be too overwhelming but we're going to give it a go okay so that's what we're going to do right now okay so I'm just going to do this. I haven't done this for a long time, so just bear with me, guys. I'm just going to move my mic just slightly. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for listening to the sound healing. <laughs> so let's get started with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys, for um, what's going on right now and future predictions. So let's have a look with the cards first, okay? So we have authority, let's put these guys up here. We have authority, we have adaptability, we then have romance and affair, beautiful. So this is a love affair, guys. This isn't like a dodgy affair. So I do see something very positive, very loving, very cute. Okay, let's see what else we have. Carousite, 10 of cups and the moon, that's beautiful. We then have opposition, read and intuition. So this is really, really positive. So what they're telling you for you to do right now is to basically okay sorry guys for the change in camera angles if it slightly changes just need to move the uh, bowl over a little bit because i'll run out of room so what i feel like the best thing for you to do right now is to go inwards which is a lot of us are doing that and to work on balancing all your relationships that you have right now okay so this is a really really good time to talk to a friend to talk to a family member who you basically have been putting off talking to and sorting out the situation okay because I feel like you really need to assert yourself and really get into a certain situation, okay? This is only gonna to relate to some of you, it's not gonna to relate to all of you, obviously. I feel like your intuition is gonna know what this is. So what I feel like is really, really nice is, for some of you guys, it's also, or whoever you feel like this is obviously relating to, it's like asserting yourself in a really kind of authoritative way so you can get across your point to whatever you need to say, okay? Does that rhyme? I don't know. I'm a poet, didn't know it. Don't know what's happening right now. So we also have the intuition, which is listen to your soul's truth, think less, feel more, which I feel like is really, really kind of um, what the vibe is right now. I feel like my intuition is really, really, really hot and kind of like on point right now. Um, so I really feel like that's obviously coming from for a lot of you guys. I feel like our intuitions are really kind of 
being like really poignant and very kind of um yeah really really nice okay so i also feel like for you guys um in terms of the situation that i'm feeling like for you guys i feel like it's just really important for you to read and kind of research and is there anything that you want to look into or is there anything you want to start maybe like a project an art project that sort of thing and that's a good time to start it so there's a lot of emotions going on around relationships but i feel like if you can work on these emotions that pop up even if they're most random and stuff that don't make sense then it's really really good for you guys to just look into that because i feel like that's that is what's gonna change you is when you move through that and you can really kind of um be aware and open and i feel like for a lot of you guys your own authenticity is coming through so for future predictions i feel like romance is coming for you i feel like you're going to have love i feel like that's coming through really strongly once we move out of this period around, around the earth right now and just inwardly i feel like we're just going to completely go and expand I mean, really really beautiful this balance is also showing me that you're going to come into balance and you're going to find your balance your your forte your um there's a word and i can't i can't see it what is it forte there's some sort of like plateau i'm feeling like you've got a plateau right now and then you're going to turn that into a forte so what basically that means is like you're very stagnant very kind of like a blurred i'm hearing blurred lines so blurred lines and know you on it <laughs> um i feel like you're kind of very confused and yeah it's it's kind of like you don't really have very there's some relationships that aren't very strong right now and you'll need to kind of like have a look into those and see if there's anything that you need to kind of be aware of and you may have been stepped on through your life and you're now you're really trying to move out of that um once you move through away from this or toxic energy i don't know why i said all toxic energy or authoritative i don't know when you move out of this toxic energy um, you're going to feel much more better and i'm getting the word hospitals and not, not to freak anyone out okay this is not to freak anyone out um, I think you're going to meet someone at a hospital and I think it's because you probably work there. So this is obviously for some of you who are nurses. Um, very like, this is very kind of like connected to what's going on around the world right now. But it's literally nothing to do with that. Like I'm getting a very positive message. It feels like once everything's kind of like sorted itself out around the world, it's going to be very positive. I feel like some of you guys, you want to be a nurse. So you're probably looking into that in the midwife. It could literally be anything in a hospital. It could be... Um, people who kind of like distribute the drugs um could be a receptionist it could be somebody who works in like a gift shop you know in a cafe in the hospital it literally could be absolutely anything okay but i feel like you're going to really enjoy it for some of you going to be surgeons um especially for like for the masculine and those of you who um see yourself as a masculine i see you want to uh i see you want to be on like i see you want to uh be a surgeon i'm getting sorry I'm, i just had another message come through and it was really confusing i'm getting for you guys that um it's something to do yeah i'm here seeing like an operation table so i feel like some of you guys are really uh wanted to do that you're very kind of some of you guys are very serious and concentrated and you like to really concentrate on one thing so i feel like you'll, you'll be really really good at that it's almost like a creative thing for you because i feel like it's something that's very uh you have to work really hard for it and and then you kind of get the um the satisfaction out of making someone feel really good and changing their life yeah and i feel like for you guys it's gonna help it i feel like it's gonna be travel in your future as well i feel like you guys are gonna be traveling and yeah i see that coming through really nice and you could meet someone through travel uh various different messages here so thank you so much for watching guys if you want to book a private reading all my information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon look after yourself guys much love Bye. Hello group two, welcome back to my channel. Let's get started and have a look into what you need to be doing right now and what's coming forward towards you. So we have Ancestors, Root Chakra, that's really beautiful. I'm just seeing what cards they want me to put on the stand. They want me to use these ones, okay. So we have Restlessness, Mercury and Taurus, Fulfillment, and then we also have Inspiration. This is very positive. You guys are the Asserters. You guys are the Aries, the Scorpios, the Tauruses of the group, so I feel like. Um, so yeah, I feel definitely for you guys. So we have um, Eight of Swords, Page of Cups, Virgo, you could also be a Virgo, Positive Affirmations, Sight, Detach your emotions from situations that you can't control. I feel like that's so relevant right now. Be open through this transitional time. You guys have four of these cards, so I feel like for you guys, you need a lot of messages. 
protection. Consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. I feel like that's also about situations as well. It's just being conscious of your own energy and where you kind of send it off to. And also spiritual maintenance, be your own caretaker. So for you guys, what you need to be doing right now is to be in the moment and to really center yourself and look after yourself, okay? I feel like that's so relevant right now. For a lot of you guys, you could be having health problems or you could be having like mental health problems or you could be really just soul searching or just a little bit confused about life and what's going on, you know, not just externally, but internally, you know, having your own internal issues. So I feel like for you guys, you want to move forward, but you can't. So um, I feel like you are going to get there. Okay, just to let you know, guys, it is, a, it is a positive outcome. I feel like right now for some of you, it's just there's something there niggling at you that you need to kind of sort out. It could be your health. It could be your mental health. It could be your house needs a clean, a tidy, you know, your house might be a little bit messy, I don't know, it could have stuff everywhere, um, it could be you need to clear out your closet, um, it could be you need to just write out your thoughts, there's something about organising things, and I feel like for you guys, you're feeling very restless because you want to move forward, um, this is very kind of like um, an internal thing, so for those of you, I don't feel like you're really, I feel like you are obviously bothered about what's going on out, outside and around the earth right now, um, but obviously this is kind of like, a this is a timeless reading guys, so you're obviously going to see this at any time, so I do feel like for a lot of you, you are focused on either the outer, like the earth, or be also focused on the inward, so for you guys, you may have some personal issues going on right now, that is, yeah, I don't feel like some of you are going to have, you'll have personal issues going on right now, this card I feel like is the most accurate, I feel, Detach your emotions from situations that you can't control. This is so important because I feel like you guys are really kind of getting in there and getting the nitty gritty, which is good. That's what you want to do. But it can be extremely overwhelming and it can just be like a waterfall of emotions. And it's just letting that go, you know. Um, I always say in my readings um, that there's this thing that I always do for me. And if I get overwhelmed, I tap on it with uh, tapping, which is, e oh my God, I've totally forgotten what tapping is. Yeah, but tapping, <laughs> so like tapping like this, tapping on the points on your body. Um, there's also acknowledging and releasing, which you say, put your hands on your heart and you say, I acknowledge part of me feeling, whatever that feeling is, sadness, anger, about, whatever that's about. And then you say, I choose to let these feelings flow right now. And you take a deep breath in and out. And you look kindly at yourself. I look at my right shoulder. You look wherever you want to look. And you look kindly at yourself like you would a puppy. And you say... It's okay, and you let it go, and then you just keep working through it. So it's also working on positive affirmations and stop hating on yourself. Stop pointing things out about yourself that you don't like, okay? Because you are working on yourself in every moment. You've got to live with yourself, so you've got to really love yourself. I love all these little affirmations. It says, I love myself, brave, beautiful, worthy, grateful, healthy, happy, and I choose love. I love that healthy, happy. I felt that's very, very accurate for a lot of you guys right now. For a lot of you guys, it could be, be bringing up a lot of health issues because obviously we're going through quite a recurring time. My Both my ears are ringing, that's so interesting. Um, a lot of old health issues possibly are coming up um, because we're uh, a lot of this energy is very pungent. It's basically getting us to let go of stuff so we can move forward. So if you've got a lot of kind of health issues right now or you're just dealing with things that are just very like pungent and just yuck, then really kind of, you know, do you like how I describe that? Yuck. <laughs> very methodical, very great. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys are moving through that, but you can do this, guys. You've got your ancestors here rooting you and helping you ground yourself, okay? And if you feel too grounded, then just kind of like, you know, ask your guides to kind of help you to feel lighter. Um, yeah, but you're getting there, guys, okay? And good thing is for you guys is the, uh, the thing that's coming towards you is fulfillment inspiration, page of cups, love coming in, okay? You're gonna get organized. You're getting organized, guys. Don't be so hard on yourself. I feel like there's a lot of Virgo energy around this group, um, especially because we have the Virgo card. It's very, like, organized, okay? You need to get organized, and that's totally fine, guys. You can do this, okay? Just take it it's one step at a time. You don't need to rush. You don't even have to do anything, okay? You just take this as it resonates. But you do have fulfillment coming in, okay? Your ships are going to be coming in, okay? Um, very, very soon. And get the number 54 for some of you guys, some reason that's coming through as well. And 60, 64 and 66, 67. Don't know why those numbers are coming in, but that's what I'm feeling. And we also have one, nine, and twelve. Um, yeah, I'm also getting random items coming in my head. I'm seeing a black cat, I'm seeing some mushrooms. Um I'm seeing like bottles lined up, like um medi like medical bottles, like um when you make oils and 
kind of cute little things. Have we got a bottle here? Yes, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing these type of witchy bottles here. I'm seeing those. So you guys could be buying some new health things, you know. I don't know, could buy some new crystals. But I feel like for you guys, um, Page of Cups, new happiness coming in. Someone's going to give you a love offer, something you've really wanted. If it's not love, it's going to be money. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's going to be shifting very soon. And you, all your emotions that you've been going through are going to make you feel very strong and inspired once you get through this period of time, okay? Also, I feel like for you guys, I highly recommend getting some selenite or some clear quartz. And I'm going to be selling some of these on my shop um, jewelry in jewelry form. Um, but I also am going to be hopefully selling some actual like crystals. I have crystal kits, but I'm going to be selling crystals as well. So if you want to check that out, have a look down below and um, that'll be up very soon. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you like this. Also, if you're having body issues, I feel like you guys are going to be resolving that and feeling very good about yourself. You guys could be working out as well and just, yeah, I'm getting really hot. I feel like that's just confirmation. Uh, but yeah, very intense energies, you know. We've got Mercury twice. We've got Taurus, we've got Pisces, we've got Sag. All the things. So don't tie yourself up in knots, guys. You can do this. Uh, if you want a private reading, all my information is down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello group three, thank you so much for being here. Let's see what's going on for you guys right now and what you should be doing right now. So, we have optimism. Oh, that's good. Riches, I thought I, thought I said bitches. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Riches, power, and we also have domination. Okay, let's see what else we have. You guys got quite a lot of cards, so let's get through these. Whale, tenderness, show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. Fox, shadow work. There are no shadows without light. Clean your space. Ruby, passion, root and sacral chakra. Dope task, direction, heart chakra. Three of swords, six of wands. And then we also have Venus, love. So for you guys, I feel like the best thing you can do right now is to love the space that you're in, which makes so much sense right now. What's going on in the world? I feel like you need to love your space that you're in, okay? Whether that's the mental space, whether that's the physical space, whether that's the home that you're in, whether that's in the country that you're in, the town, the county. <laughs> um, I'm just hearing lots of different geography terms now. Um, yeah, I feel like for you guys, you want to move, and I feel like that's going to happen very soon for you. It's going to happen when obviously things can start changing. Um, clean your space. I feel like that's the best thing for you to do. Wipe your windows down, hoover, you know, do what feels good for you. Whatever you need to do, do that, okay? Um, but I feel like you're going to start loving your space more. I feel like you're going to, when I say space, I don't always mean like your physical space. I mean like your body as well. I feel like you're going to start loving your body more. You're going to start taking more care of it. And whether that's talking nicer to yourself, whether that's eating good food, um, talking to some friends and really expressing yourself. Yeah, I feel like for you guys, it's just showing compassion. Um, for yourself and forgiving yourself for possibly things that you've said to yourself or just forgiving things that are going on right now okay with us externally or internally you know and I feel like for you guys you're going to find something you're very passionate about okay so what you need to do right now is to work on your shadows do some creative work clean your space clean your house clean your body detoxing um and I feel like you're finding something you're very passionate about and I feel like you're going to find something you're very passionate about for those of you who are looking for love, I see that coming through for you guys. I see your heart is taking you in the direction where you need to go. So everything that's going on around the world, it is basically meant to happen, you know? I mean, everything happens for a reason. Not that it's a good thing, but not a lot of the good things are the things that we want to happen, you know? It's basically like, oh, I didn't want to break up my boyfriend. Oh, I didn't want to break up my friend. But it happens, you know? Things like this happen. And I just saw a flash of, like, a woman who came into my face. <laughs> she came, like, right close to my face. Very, looks like this woman. It's really interesting yeah she's got like big black curly hair which is really beautiful it's very long and black so if you have that that's obviously uh you coming through or that's a guide coming through um if you have like a grandmother or sister or somebody in spirit um they're, that they're helping you guide you and i feel like the earth is really kind of changing as well and we're all going to be changing with with her as well so um yeah i feel like it's kind of like gaia i feel like it's just a lot of power right now being uh, shown and a lot of shadow work is coming up guys so if there's anything you feel you need to let go of or release and forgive the past do it because this is the best time to do it okay try acknowledging and releasing like i said for group two you say put your hands in your heart say i acknowledge part of me feeling whatever so i i acknowledge part of me feeling sad about whatever that's about and then you say i choose to let these feelings flow right now and you breathe in and breathe out 
and then you look kindly at yourself. I look at my right shoulder, you look wherever you want to look, and then you, yeah, you look kindly at yourself like you would a puppy and go, ah, and then yeah, you let it flow. So that's how you do it. You just keep working with it because you are moving forward. The more you do that, the quicker you're going to move forward, okay, and quicker this world's going to ascend. You know, the more we do it all consciously, the more and more people do it, the more we're going to be like, we're going to go through that door, through those gaps, and we're going to be like, boom reaching our potential so i do feel like for a lot of you, you could be very optimistic right now you could be feeling into these energies feeling like everything's working out for you and i feel like for you guys there is power in your optimism as well so i do feel like if you're not in this space right now you are going to find your power finding parts of you that are like little riches really passionate parts of you that are like just want to go forward i can do this okay so if you haven't got this right now you are going to get there um, and there's no need to rush or push. I feel like for you guys, you may think, okay, I need to do this, I need to do that. There's no rush, okay, guys? It's really important for you to be in this feminine energy where you're just letting it flow. Because I feel like this is basically you having a really hard time on yourself and you giving yourself a really hard time. So you need to let that go and you need to kind of let it flow. <laughs> let it go, let it flow. <laughs> let go and let flow okay um yeah so and if there's anybody hurting you or being horrible to you then just you know maybe assert your dominance maybe you need to say hey bugger off <laughs> like a bad girl that i am <laughs> i don't think that's gonna scare anyone hey you bugger off <laughs> i don't think that's really gonna scare anyone but you know if you need to say something to somebody then do it i mean i did the other day and it was just like these kids are on the path and i need to get past and i was like could have moved and then they just were like wow this girl i don't think she was going to say anything and she did and i was like yes bitch get out my fucking way because <laughs> some people are so rude you know i just can't stand rudeness i think it's so just it's so rude you know so <laughs> so yeah i feel like for what's coming for you guys is just you feeling so much better about yourself you're loving yourself and there also is love coming for you as well so I highly recommend a crystal for you. I highly recommend all aura quartz. I thought like this is a really good crystal for you guys. It's a happiness crystal. It's absolutely beautiful. And if you would like to request this, I can get this for you. Um, my shop is going to be open very soon. I'm not selling uh, full on just normal crystals, but if you would like to purchase one, I can get that for you. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to check out my shop, it will be open on the 26th of March 2020. Uh, if it's not open yet, it will be soon. And if you want a private reading, all my information is down below. And yeah. Just, you're going in the right direction guys you're going in the direction of your heart so keep doing what you're passionate about and that's going to help you to move forward as well okay and that's going to help you to be in the right direction towards your partner coming in as well if you're not looking for a partner you're just working on yourself okay so and also just love you're like having love around you as well you're going to get love around you and you're you're really cultivating that right now and moving forward okay keep uh being optimistic guys you're going to get there and i'll speak to you very soon much love bye